Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ, Marvel Puzzle Quest. This is part two of today's videos. I wanted to keep two different videos pretty short, so we're going to get back into some action in the Daily Quest area. we got to take on the Behemoth Burrito that starts that stars a 2, 3, and 4 star team, and then we'll fight in the Extreme Node in the Crash of the Champions, and hope we can win a Legendary Recruit token from that. Let's jump into the action here. We're against... Ares, Three Star Blade, and Nick Fury. But we've got a pretty good team lined up with uh, Patch Wolverine, Invisible Woman, and Two Star Thor. We're going to limit ourselves to only being able to use the Four Star's ability for... That means uh, Invisible Woman's going to do all of the work here. I think we're still going to have a good chance at winning. Her green does a lot of damage, pretty good amount, and her uh, uh, yellow power, her invisibility is uh, really pretty awesome. Let's go with this match four just to take it away from them. Yeah, we want to go for green right away, if at all possible. Let's see, which way to do the green? Maybe I'll do it this way. Good, they left a match four in blue on the board for us, but there's an extra move in green, first of all. Let's do that. Unlucky Aries set us up really nice. Almost have our green ready to fire already. Let's get the blue first, if we can. And the reason you want to get the blue first is because it does a couple things. It uh, creates some strike tiles. That's uh, the update they made for Invisible Woman. And on top of that, she will, uh, if the enemies make any special tiles, she'll trap them in a force bubble. These guys will create special tiles on red if we leave red on the board um, of nine or t nine or is it ten or more? But I'm going to try to probably collect all the red since that's an important color for Patch Wolverine to to use. Hmm, what do we do here? We've got a couple ways to get blue green and team up AP. Let's go for this. Let's do this. Let's do Invisible Woman's yellow. Grant invisibility. I have it set at a pretty high level, which gives our whole team invisibility and creates yellow protectiles. So here's her invisibility tile. Our, uh, the allies will be invisible for just a couple of turns, but she'll be invisible the, the entire time that that, that uh, invisibility tile is on the board. So I wanted to get green here, but I think we're going to start with this blue. It'll drop a green close to being matched. Nope, they'll take it now get a match five. Well, that might not have been the best play overall, but we're going to get... The last green we need pretty easily, I'm sure. Let's take this blue here again. Now Blade's creating some strike tiles. So if he's going to... Let's see if he's going to create one more while we get this green match. Putting Patch up front, you know, he can heal really well from all this damage, more than likely, unless they hit him with a whole barrage of powers in a row. All right, we got almost everything lit up. This is working well so far. Um, let's do some powers now. Well, you know what? That strike tile is going to get matched away, and there's a match four in black. Oh, that's okay. Let's do it now. We'll do force bubbles first. So it locks three random enemy special tiles in uh, bubbles and creates two strength 133 blue strike tiles. I've got, I think I got her blue set to level three right now. Usually I have it at about four, um, but that's okay. We trapped two of the enemy tiles. I was hoping to see if we could trap that Night Stalker. Uh, all right, let's move over to Blade. He's going to be trouble because of his passive ability. Let's target him for a big force field crush. This does 87 49 damage for just 10 green. And there's a way you can work with Invisible Woman to get a whole bunch more of these locked uh, force bubbles on the board to have it do more damage than the base because you can play it in such a way where you get uh, 1,340, 1,300 plus damage for each of them. But right now, since there's only a couple, this will do really good damage enough to take him out anyway. So now there's more locked bubbles on the board, some random. I wanted to take him out because I think we'll have an okay time with Fury. Concentrate on Ares until he's out. Oh, Sunder, that's a big hit from him. I wasn't watching how much yellow. See how they matched that strike tile, and um, it basically unlocked the force bubble. So that strike tile's out on the board against us now, but Invisible Woman's invisible. She can't take any damage except for basically team damage, AOE damage. It's the only way she can be 
be hurt right now until the invisibility tile is gone. With our protect tiles, he's only doing one damage a piece. He's he deals in yellow, blue, and purple. So if we keep those three colors away from him, for the most part, we're going to be just fine. There's a blue I didn't want him to get. His blue ability is really good for Nick Fury. It creates some pretty strong trap tiles. It used to be better before they changed the way he works, but it's still pretty good for that ability. I do really like his yellow power now, though. Three critical tiles is um, causes a lot of damage on the board from Nick Fury's yellow. Oh, man, we lost the strike tile. Hoping to get one more green to try to end this thing. We'll hit him with another force field crush if we get lucky. Looks like we did because the green lined up. We'll have to do it this way. Repulsor punch. Hits poor Wolverine taking the brunt of all these attacks, but we're ready to finish it now with a big another force field crush from Invisible Woman and... Boom. So once again, this video is part two. I did a sh real short video earlier. I'm trying to work on exporting some of these from Twitch over to YouTube to make them a little more visible to other people that want to join in the fun. And I had a limit of 15 minutes on YouTube. Uh, I do believe I've gotten that expanded now, take the, taking the limit off. So, here we go. The Crash of the Titans. We're against Miles Morales at a level 270, so he's pretty pretty good. Uh, leveled up to about just about champion status. And we have to fight him with a Spider Gwen that's really low. Level 114. I beat him before at this level with less covers than I have now in her. So we're going to see how this goes. She has a really nice stun that's going to be super important. And I, we have to keep him away from purple. This might take multiple attempts, I'll tell you right now. We have to keep purple and red away from him for sure. And then yellow would be the third most important. Our colors, our powers are in the same exact color scheme. of uh, We're purple, red, and yellow. Purple is the... Um, Stun two enemies, if there was two. It'll stun him for two turns. We're going to use that when it makes a lot of sense. Cherry Bomb is our only damage ability. It costs 12 initially, but the cost is reduced by how many web tiles are on the board. So I hope to not have to use this Cherry Bomb until it only has a cost of six at the minimum. And then uh, Kick Out the Jams is uh, basically a healing ability, and it also puts web tiles on the board. So that's going to come into a lot of play here to heal whenever he hits us for enough damage. All right, so we're going to really make an effort to keep purple and red away from this guy. Every chance we get. There's two ways to get red, unfortunately. Let's go with this one. He might set us up with some yellow matches after this. Oh, how lucky. He had to take the green, and then he got lucky again with the red. All right, so what's more important here? Better get the red. He's already up to five. His ability only costs six regardless, so that's really cheap ability for him. We didn't look at his abilities yet. Purple, yellow, and red. With purple, he can go invisible for seven, and that is crazy cheap to go invisible. And um, if he gets enough purple again, that ability becomes surprise, and he hits us for a ton of damage when he uh, becomes visible again, jumps out of the shadows for an attack. So... Hide and seek is going to be really tough to watch out for. Power and responsibility, he adds web tiles and has a passive where he earns AP whenever a web tile is matched um, by him or us. So we have to be careful on web tiles, of course. And Venom Blast only costs 6 red. It uh, does 1678 damage, not a lot. It's still plenty in this case. Um, and it stuns us for one turn. So that's why we got to be really careful about that red. Now. Let's focus on purple. Which way is the safest way to get a purple match right now? Probably this way. Oh, and he gets enough red to hit us already. So double check now. Teenage Kicks does a stun for two turns. It is now a good time to stun him since he's already going to hit us for a stun in the first place. I only want to do a stun if we've got a couple of moves that really makes sense for us to do to him. 
Right now, there's no real yellow, purple, or red matches at all, so I'm not going to stun him now. I'll save it and let him, uh, basically let him get a hit on us. So, what do we do to kind of, let's just do something like this so it won't set him up with anything. Our spider Gwen has very little health, so this, uh, we get him with a, get him a little bit of a purple match. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So keep in mind, we're going to stun him as soon as possible when uh, we're uh, like a two moves in a row make a lot of sense for us to do. Do something like this. Got to be super careful not to set him up with anything. Okay, now there's a purple match. And uh, Spider Gwen's abilities are all cheap. Six for purple, six for yellow, and then once again, we can drop the cost of her red down to six if we're lucky enough to. So let's stun him now because there's a purple match on the board I want to take and then see if there's a red that drops down close to these two. Nope, not quite. All right, let's do this. Maybe another red will drop down there. It worked. The plan worked. We can get a red without accidentally setting him up for a match. Now he's going to put a lot more web tiles on the board. Dangerous. Okay, he matches that in which we... Uh, get a we get a boost of health for that But he earns AP for that match I want to kind of see if we can separate these web tiles so that he can't get a whole bunch of benefit out of them and that black Matchup at the top would be rough if he takes that he would earn a bunch of AP um, He doesn't go for black so he shouldn't he shouldn't prioritize that match Let's just do a, basically a non-move there. Let him set us up. He did for purple. All right, we'll take it because now we can stun him again. Oh, there's purple. He goes to seven. So guess what? we got to stun him now. He can go invisible. Two turns, he's stunned. Cherry Bomb costs six. And the damage is 3246. That's really pretty good. If I could rush another red match here, we could hit him twice with all these web tiles on the board. Um, we got to do something though. It'd be nice to match away some web tiles while he's stunned. So, oh, here we go. Yeah, we got to set up this match four. That's good. Now. Okay, now well, we weren't able to keep him from going invisible. There's no reason to wait on this cherry bomb. He doesn't have a healing ability. All right, so he's definitely going to go invisible, and it's going to be tough because um, we don't have... It'll probably go to this purple here at the bottom. That's like one of the super most difficult ones to get to. Um... But that's okay. Let's get this red away from him. If we keep matching any web tiles, we'll continue to heal while he tries to get more purple. We'll try to kill. Oh, he gets purple at the top. How lucky. He's up to four already. So let's look back. Now, surprise. It's only a cost of eight. It is more than a seven, and he would deal 2670 damage. Um, so we're into bonus health. The green level is the health we've earned up above... Uh, where we've been knocked down to, basically, burst health. Uh, kick out the jams would place some... Yeah, all right, let's be really careful here. Let's try to get that invisibility tile matched away. There's a red at the bottom. we got to take that away from him. So as, as much as he's going to flood the board with web tiles, we still get health back whenever he matches them also. So... Even if he hits us with some big damage, there we go. 979, every time he does that. We can't hit him with red, though. If you try, Cherry Bomb, it says no targets available. Thank goodness it doesn't let you waste it. Um, look at the board. How lucky is this? There's a match four and team up that destroys his invisibility tile. I'm definitely going to take it. Sometimes you want to let the enemy take those. Um destroy their own, but I don't want him to get that single purple AP. It would put him at six in a real dangerous spot. So he is now visible again. Things are going pretty well. Don't get any web tiles. Okay, he didn't. Now, check this out. We can do another cherry bomb. 
Takes him down to 3246. All right, so be really careful here what we set him up with. Um, I want to get this yellow match, but hopefully he'll take it. That would set us up with a match four in purple. Try to let him do it. Let's just do a non-event move. Oh, disaster. How in the world could we set him up that badly? Um, it wasn't really our fault. That was just a super bad luck cascade. We get an extra move too, so things might work out here in the long run. We'll see. He's got nine purple. He's going to go invisible again. Look at this. If we had one more purple, we could stun him and pretty much take him out. Looks like it's going to be tough to do that. Another cherry bomb gets him down to 1341. Wow. Um, so he's going to go invisible and place that tile. This is a purple match that's already available on the board. I don't want to take that purple because what if he puts his invisibility tile there? Let's go here. Get up there on the top. Oh man, bottom left corner. That's pretty much a disaster blow to our plans here. Now, can we do anything that gets purple tiles down closer to that invisibility tile? Yeah, maybe. Let's go with um, kick out the jams for the first time. That'll place a bunch of um, web tiles on the board for us. Now let me think here. What's the best way to get purple down to the bottom? I don't want them to do that match four because of the critical. I'll probably do this, which keeps a couple of matches there. If we get the black match, that lines up purple four. He's up to five purple. Very dangerous. Um... Hmm, I wonder if there's any way we're going to get him to be able to set us up to match away that purple down below. Uh, if I do this black match that'll line up the purple, there's a real chance he'll take the purple match and have enough to play surprise. So there's uh, got to be something else we can do. We need some web tiles to get matched just to heal, but also have to be real careful that he doesn't get purple AP for doing it. How in the world did he go for that black match? Wow. Okay. So his invisibility tile is vulnerable. We got to get purple ourselves so we can stun the guy. He's going to go for that purple unless there's a red or yellow match available. Um, let's do... Man, this is dangerous. Let's do this four shot. It gets us one purple from the line break. Not a stun. Not now. Why didn't I watch out for his stun? Oh, no. This might be the end. He matches it away. He's got enough for surprise. It's my turn. Stun him. Oh, man. This could work out just barely. Um, he's stunned, but we have to make sure we can get enough red to damage him. Or keep him stunned. So what do we do? We have no purple. There's no red matches on the board. Um, we're going to have to do this purple in case a red drops close. It did. Red match. Guess what? Cherry bomb for the win with less than a thousand health left on the first try with a super low leveled Spider Gwen. Good tactical play, I think, helped us out there. Man, that effort, I think it was, that was a great fun fight. Well worth the latest legendary token for that win. And I'm glad I got that caught on a video. That'll be a highlight reel. Um, save that and keep her at that level because I don't want to raise her up yet. She's one of the five, or four actually, remaining four-star characters that we haven't champed. And we'll save her for a rainy day. Excellent. Good fun there. Hey, there's uh, Perez Leo. Thanks for jumping in. He's a friend of a couple other guys that do an awesome job at streaming MPQ videos. Uh, Kill Power is great on Twitch. If you get a chance to check him out, he's connected to, to my live stream. So if I uh, ever go off and he's on, it'll auto-host for him. And, of course, I need to give a shout-out to Mr. MPQ 
who is um, on YouTube doing a great job and also is on Twitch a little bit. Hope to catch him on Twitch. I haven't seen him there yet. Uh, just kind of hit and miss, and we do a lot of short videos. I do anyway, and I uh, would like to be on a lot more than, than I get to. So, hey, great win. Uh, let's go on to Still Shielded in Lord of Thunder. That event ends tonight, holding on to a top 10 ranking in clearance level 9 in the PvP. If I wasn't uh, going back and forth on shields, I'd put that onto the, the uh, video. Let's go into a um, match or two here in the Shield Simulator. Got a couple of uh, matches that should be worth some good points. Here we go. Let's play. Let's get into some five-star action. This is the uh, same kind of team that I would probably play. Get this guy a battle here quick with uh, Gladiator Thor myself. We'll bring in... Gambit used him earlier, so he's taking a little bit of a hit. And let's put in a four star for fun. I like Rogue in this situation because she can absorb a lot of the match damage. Five stars have a lot of match damage. And anytime they match red, yellow, or green, she'll step in front and mitigate that for us. Yeah, you basically have to log in and out to try to catch me on live. Uh, uh, Leo or, or uh, I don't know if I call you Perez or whatever you want, but uh, it's hit and miss with me. I stream whenever I can. I've got two, two uh, little guys, two little sidekicks, so just always on or off whenever I can help it. So uh, we have a full health Gladiator Thor, and if anybody's going to take damage, I'd rather have it be him until he gets down into what they call God Mode when he's about 50% health remaining. God Mode Thor is probably my most f fun, most uh, effective passive ability in the game. If you haven't had a chance to, to hear, find out about what that is or see it in person, uh, I'll probably get Thor down to half health in this, bat in this match just because it's hard not to when you're facing an enemy gambit. Alright, where do we do here? Let's take uh, this red that drops purple. I want to jump ahead on red when you're fighting Gambit so that we can let him play his first couple of moves. Ace, Aces and Eights is, is uh, his red ability and uh, Raging Cajun is his purple ability. He's at about 32,000 health. When he gets down close to about 30, here's a good move, red drops uh, black up there. Yep, he's under 30,000 health now. I need to stop hitting him and then switch over to Thor. I'll drop him to about 30,000 health uh, also, but we've got to take Gambit out ASAP. No hurry in working on Gambit, though, until... Let's see... Until he's played his aces and eights, because I want him to charge tiles before I get... before I do. That allows me to um, play aces and eights for just the damage portion without spending 7 AP on the charging the tiles portion of the ability. Got to play Raging Cajun now though, he's got all those countdown tiles ready to go off. Alright, and we've covered up his countdown tiles just perfectly, so I it's funny, they got 11 red and they still haven't played Gambit's ability yet. I've seen him get up to about 22 red because um, Thor isn't able to play his red ability because Gambit blocks other red abilities on the team. And I'm waiting. Look at that. 30 red AP. I just can't wait anymore. I'm going to go ahead and start the process here. We'll play aces and eights once. That destroys a couple of tiles, but more, important, more importantly, creates two charge tiles for the next hit. Now, let's move over to Gambit. Two hits will knock him out for sure. Look at that drop on the blue. Boom. Knocks him out from about 27,000 health. Amazing. So we've got 19 red. Let's, let's not hit Thor again until he's got about... Let's see, 40... Yeah, let's not hit him until we've got about 21 red again. We can rush all the way down on him. Um, four shot of green. I hate to lose that countdown tile, but we're at 11 green now. Ooh, man. There it is. As Guardian Tactics, they were waiting on that red, and I took out Gambit. I knew there was a reason I wanted to wait. 
he can't play as Guardian Tactics unless uh, the Gambit on the other team is knocked out. All right, Raging Cajun takes out their Protect Tiles and the Repeater Tile from Thor. Here we go, guys. We're going to play Thor's God of Thunder. Real good team damage. That knocks Thor down to about 30 grand. You know why we go for that target level, because one shot is 19,000, usually between 16 and 19,000. This will take him out with some overkill. Awesome. And let's see. Man, there's always a four shot whenever I have a countdown tile in the line break. Let's do this. Let's just do yellow that drops down purple. Thor is uh, our Thor is under 20,000 health, big surprise. So he's gonna he's in god mode completely, where he does about 3,000 damage every turn when he breaks five, destroys five tiles, and earns AP for those five tiles in red, green, or yellow. So we'll play our yellow. We have it up real high. We're uh, this is a rare occurrence where you have enough yellow AP to then play Raging Fire. That's the other side of the yellow ability. Look at this damage. I have it at cover level 3 for Champion Thor. It does 22,000 damage for, the, for that ability. Uh, but we're going to wait because he's going to create some projectiles every turn. And then when you play Raging Fire, it converts the projectiles into strike tiles. So the more you have, the better. We almost have this guy ready to knock out, though. Oh, I lost a lost the charge tile. You'll always want two charge tiles when you play aces and eights. If you can, you get a lot more damage per charge tile. Well, let's end it here. Thor will do it. It's an opportunity to play Raging Fire. It's pretty good animation. Here we go. Good win. So Rogue took a lot of damage there. And um, Thor did as well, but we can play this uh, team in another fight. It's uh, agreed. They take a lot of damage in five-star battles. It's uh, just the way it is, and the shield simulator is tough to get through. Let's find guys that are worth a little bit more points. Here's a 70. This is a unique team, Panthos. Call it uh, for Panther and Thanos. Yeah, we'd have to fight Deadpool first. 70 points would get us over 1100. We might take that guy on. We got to get rid of these small point nodes. 58. Gambit, along with Black Bolt, is probably the most dangerous five star team right now to face. Skip this guy. Who do we have here? 60 points. Another God Mode th or another Thor on the other team. All right, man. Might take that one on. Let's see. Yeah, let's play, let's fight somebody that's 60 or more. Okay, we'll go back to this one. See if we can win. Yeah, I'm in five-star land. I've got um, five-star Gambit, Thor, and Thanos all champed. And um, I don't have any real levels into five-star Daredevil, although he is at 13 covers as well been champing a whole bunch of I got 55 four stars champed daredevil's there ready to go and black bolt will be after him black bolt's at cover level 551 so his yellow is a really tough spot and I uh, can't wait to level him up but too many three star duplicates are in the way right now let's get into this fight not that one or is it this one 58 points I wanted yeah let's let's take this one on um so Panther's going to be tricky because let's get a different four star in here. Gamora's really good. Um, well, Vulture's really good. Thor's injured, and the ch and the challenge will be to get twenty five thousand health and seventeen thousand health Thor through this fight. Shouldn't be too tough with the Vulture that can go airborne and avoid a lot of his own damage. And um, Vulture doesn't even tank any colors in this fight, by the way. Let's do white that drops purple, then green. Lucky yellow and red as well. Thanks a lot, Leo. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of work and a lot of hours. I love this game probably every bit as much as you guys do. So as long as it's 
worth the effort. I feel like it's might as well put some of this play out there. There's not a lot of guys at stream that have uh, champ five stars yet, so that kind of makes it interesting, I hope, to watch. I'm not a real seasoned host at all, but I'm trying. <laughs> So that's why I'm reaching out to connect with some of you guys, uh, watch you watch other streamers, and hopefully we can all get better and spread the word out there and get uh, a lot of the the uh, love for the game spread out. Everybody can, the more people we have playing, the better it will be overall. All right. Well, so we're gonna put Panther up front because we need to whittle him down with match damage. Five star match damage can hit up to around two thousand. Uh, per turn it depends on the colors of course that you're matching and um, we got to watch out though because if we hit him for too much if we hit him for over a six, 6100 uh, 6100 damage ability he'll stun himself for two turns but then lash back out with a 12,000 hit back for move or be moved so um, we don't have the opportunity to stun him but what's great to know about panther is he doesn't um, he doesn't do remove or be moved on team damage abilities. So we can go ahead and play God of Thunder and it hits him f completely. But we can't do this um, same thing with um, like we would normally do with Aces and Eights. So he's at about he's at about a 30,000 uh, health pool. So let's move over off of him over onto Thanos now. Hey. Alright. 